Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome, if you're new here, my name is Lori. And in this channel, we educate, we motivate, we inspire each other in all things travel related. So if you're new here, we hope that you stick around because the community is a vibe. In this video, you're gonna see a vlog, a vlog, a documentary, a diary, what have you, of my latest trip to Canada. It's been a few years since I've been to Canada and I was in Montreal. It's been several years since the late 90s mid to late 90s, I think, or even maybe earlier than that, since I've been to Toronto. So this is a Toronto vlog. I'm going to back things up a little bit and show you the pack with me segment because in a previous video, I showed you how I pack um, and how to save money on your flights by doing carry on only. I'm doing carry on only from a trip from Tuesday to the following Sunday. So almost an entire week and I'm doing a trip in a carry-on only. I'm doing a, a capsule wardrobe. I'm going to start with shoes, as I recommended in this previous video. I'm going to use pieces that I can interchange into outfits and, you know, create a number of different outfits from just these key pieces that I'm bringing along with me. So you'll see that in this video. And then you'll also see traveling to Toronto, getting there, the beautiful hotels, that I'll be staying at, of course, the attractions that I'll be visiting. Also, we'll show you some of the wonderful foods that I'll be partaking of. And of course, we love to stimulate the local economy. So even though this is not a a, a, a food channel or a uh, clothing channel, because it's travel related, we're going to talk about food and I'm going to show you the food and I'm going to show you the clothing, the outfits of the day. Each day, I'm going to show you the outfit that I'm wearing and then I will show you also uh, my little shopping vlog, <laughs> my little stimulating the economy segment of the vlog. So I hope that you enjoy. Come along. So guys, if you remember from a previous video, I spoke to you about how to book last minute trips. Well, I got an email from going.com about this fair rate about two weeks, perhaps before the flight. I actually rolled over in bed on a Sunday morning, saw the email and knew how great of a deal it was. I saw that it was going to Canada and I said, well, been to Montreal, uh, Toronto. It's been a minute. Toronto is the lowest flight is the cheapest flight. My son hasn't been there. We have family there. Let's go. So I booked the tickets, <laughs> rolled over, went back to sleep. I woke up later, went to TripAdvisor app, or you can go to TripAdvisor.com, clicked on hotels, typed in Toronto, did a quick ranking of best hotels by traveler ranking. I just, I just sorted them by traveler ranking like I showed you in that previous video. I can take you through step by step and all of that. And I looked at the at the map, I looked at the dates, I looked at what dates were cheapest, I looked at what worked with the flights that I'd gotten and figured out, you know what, I have direct flights. I'm gonna be saving on the flights, saving 50% on the flights. So I wanna stay at a nicer hotel. So closer to family, nicer hotel, two different hotels, and also I wanna see Niagara Falls. So figured I would stay at one close to family and one close to Niagara Falls, went back but the, but the hotel as well, double checked with when the flights were. And um, yeah, and here is the receipt for the flights. I ended up booking the flights on Expedia and then went and downloaded the WestJet app, the WestJet app, like I recommended in another video to make sure that if there are any delays or cancellations, I would get a notification from WestJet itself.
Yes, I'm gonna put a fly Baby, you give me a bit You whip up my appetite Don't leave me in Hey Globetrotters, today is Thursday and it's a day for sightseeing, special dinner, see a tower, ferry boat ride around the harbor front. Outfit of the day is something just cool and comfortable, gauzy. It's going to be a hot day, so figured just keep it light. Let me angle this down, step back. And so it's shorts and a top, sandals, and another cute crossbody just to keep everything close by. And that's it. See you guys in a little bit. Ciao. So we ate at this really cute little cafe, Italian cuisine, beautiful. I had the bronzini. He had the risotto with some preparation of beef. Hey guys, heading out to dinner at the CN Tower on the top of the tower. There's a restaurant up there. So we're gonna do some sightseeing, go out on the observation deck, see all there is to see, the panoramic views and everything like that. And then end off, cap off the evening with a sunset dinner. So outfit of the evening, some comfortable slides with some support because my ankle's still bothering me. And um, couldn't wear my heels, so <laughs> this will have to do. Another gauzy outfit, just all white. I can take off the top if I need to, um, but if it gets cool in the evening, I can keep it on. And that's the outfit for the night. Ciao.
This is the best bet. Okay. Like, oh, I mean, this, this is the only one. So enjoy the view. It only takes one minute to go up. So enjoy. A whole minute. That's 150 of course. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You're 15 for a second. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just do it with me. No. Okay. Oh, my ears are talking. We're gonna take pictures now and then take pictures again when the sun is setting. Hello, good evening. How are you? Doing? Good, how are you? Doing great. So I'm gonna give you some water to start. Is the floor moving? Yes. Okay. Not the window. Okay. <laughs> the services will be here until we make a full rotation. So gorgeous. Because the sky surrounding the sun is real pretty. And seeing the sun full on isn't so bright. Because it's behind a cloud. It's like that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Then I drive back. And now is these meetings with customers? Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's ESDC, okay. Say hi to Mark for us. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's got his hands full there too. He's got he's managing ESDC and he's managing. You see them in the pool over there, on top of that one building. You missed it. I imagine managing you guys is harder. <laughs> How many people do you have under your responsibility? Um, we, we got, uh, forty or fifty? No, we used We lost. Oh yeah, I know, I know that. Hey Globetrotters, today is Friday and that means it's time to check out of our Midtown Toronto Hotel, the Four Seasons, and time to get to our other destination. I'm going to pick up a rental and drive to Niagara Falls, but take the scenic route to Niagara Falls. So come along, hope you're enjoying the vlog so far. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, share it with someone you care about. Cozy little travel outfit. That's it. Ciao. Livingston Street, then turn left onto Falls View Boulevard. At the stop sign, turn left onto Falls View Boulevard, then the destination is on your right. Yeah. 
The destination is on your right, Niagara Falls Marriott Falls View Hotel and Spa. Check out this view. So this is a superior queen room, falls view. So you see it's more than one fall. That's why they call it Niagara Falls. Editing Laurie here interjecting to say that I didn't spend much time showing you the room in the tour of the hotel that I gave you in that separate video. And that's because quite frankly, the room was just a basic room compared to just coming from the Four Seasons, it felt underwhelming and the view really is what stole the show and why we got the room and so the bathroom wasn't anything special the room wasn't anything really special it was just a basic room basic marriott room matter of fact the hotel was a little bit dated but it you know it was fine it was clean it was decent but um it was probably also because we were coming from the from the four seasons but it was a good it was a good stay <laughs> but just figured i would interject with that So for our last full day in Canada, I booked us on a 8 a.m. pickup time for a tour of the Niagara Falls. It's a Canada side starting the tour. It goes back to the U.S. side for the Maid of the Mist boat tour that goes under the falls and then back to the, back to the Canada side. As promised, here is the mini luxury unboxing. If you know me, you know that I, while I like nice things and I appreciate nice things, I am very careful with my money. And so I am very intentional, I would like to say. And so I already had these, these items in mind. The first one, the Gucci, I'm not gonna show you because that's not mine. I uh, purchased it as a gift, so I'm not gonna show that on the channel. But um, the other two items from, you know, the famous orange bag and the famous yellow bag, I'm going to show you the Hermes and the Fendi items that I bought. So these are items that I actually had on my list and I knew that I was going to Canada and I knew that the dollar was strong around this time and I knew I was going to go somewhere internationally, whether Canada, Europe or where have you. So you see the bag, you see the dust bag. You saw me try these on in the beginning of the video when I was walking through Hermes and um, the sales associate, she went to the back and she was trying to find something for me. It was a bit of a story, but anyway, I wanted them in black with the gold hardware and I got them in black with the gold hardware and it was the last pair in my size, a size 39. And so it's happy to get that. That's just me removing the protective leather from the hardware so that it wouldn't scratch. Um, I have not worn these yet. And so these I actually, this was an actual unboxing of this, which is why I started with these first. Just wore them around the house a little bit, see how comfortable they were and they are perfect. I love them and they're gonna elevate my work outfits more formal outfits I, I should say so yes I was saying that I'm a very intentional shopper so I already knew what I had in mind I knew what my budget was I knew what these things cost in the States I've done my research and so I knew that um, with the dollar being a better being um, great on the exchange rates that I was going to be able to save a couple hundred dollars shopping in Canada versus buying these items in the US With the Fendi, if the Fendi comes in this uh, simple dust bag as well, and you have seen these because I have worn them already. <laughs> I wore them in Canada because they're so comfortable, and these are called the Fendi Feels. The first pair, I forgot to tell you, that was the Julia, the Hermes Julia sandals with the gold hardware. And um, so this is just basically their version of the dad sandal, but I hate the word dad sandal, so I call them the Jesus sandal. So they're the, the, uh, the Jesus sandal with the tobacco print. And the other item, and I purchased these in the Fendi store in, it was a department store. Their version of Neiman Marcus, there was a Fendi store inside of there. And so 
went right in, knew exactly what I wanted, was in and out within 10 minutes. Saw the matching bag, which I was a little bit um, on the fence about which color I, I wanted in this bag. This is the, uh, and you can probably guess what bag it is if you're a Fendi fan. But um, I was torn between the black and a color, and then I saw this on display, and I said, absolutely, this is what I wanted because it would perfectly match. This is the uh, Nano Fendigraphy. And I've already removed the protective plastic coating from the bottom because I've also worn this already. And um, it's so cute and it's so me because I carry small bags, I carry a card holder instead of a wallet. I don't carry big heavy purses when I'm just going about my day to day. And so, um, yeah, although it doesn't look like an exact match under the lights, it's a pretty good match. And I wear a lot of all black. And so this would go great with my all black. And so there it is, ta-da, my luxury unboxing. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video.